A woman tries to gather up a few pogo fruit on her ranch, and the next thing you know, my pockets are full of hen hens. Hello everyone, and welcome back to Slime Rancher! And we are here keeping an eye on our hungry bouquet of uh, tangle slimes. Come on guys, I know you can feed yourselves, you just kind of have to wiggle around and remember that you are literally surrounded by hen hens. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, I'm sorry, hen hens. I give you the best shot I hope I can provide. The rest is up to you. Oh no. But we are here surrounded by very fast running hen hens, getting ready to work on the overgrowth expansion perk of the 7Z Club, which I actually had completely forgotten even existed. So that's very exciting. And I think we're going to work on getting there and getting the new bucks needed. In fact, let me show you in case you too have forgotten. Dun 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 The little elevator music playing in the background always cracks me up. The 7Z Rewards Club, rank Silverstorm 3, provides the overgrowth upgrade, which is gonna be so exciting. That means upgrading Honeyman's Place. That means upgrading our avi our apiary. I almost said aviary. <laughs> if I could have more flying slimes and not just flying like like dervish slimes, that would be so cool. But oh, updating our apiary with honey mint and all of his royal court and all of his subjects, which would be really cool. But it is 25,000 new bucks. And that's going to be a little bit of a pinch to focus on. But I think we can do it, especially because I want to start focusing on some new Largos. So we're going to go over and we are going to make some new Largos at the docks. And we are going to combine the mosaic slimes with some of the highest value other slimes we can have. I'm going to do some really 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 over the top experiments so i'm actually going to combine the mosaic slime with tangle slimes with the dervish slimes and maybe with the rock slimes i mean i want to go for some of the most dangerous most interesting ones we could possibly create but i think it would be totally worth it to do that in the interest of making a ton of money that's the, the reason people make all sorts of dangerous decisions isn't it but i think i want to do mosaic quantum mosaic rock mosaic dervish and mosaic tangle because there's four spots out there and i think it'd be really fun to put that together and just see what we get so we're going to work on mosaics today and uh, we're also going to work on feeding some of our other slimes so let me gather up some of these vegetables and we're going to run through and we're going to drop off some food in each and every one of, well, not each and every one, but the majority of our slimes who need fed are going to get some attention today. Uh, and we also need to go check on Calcifer, our little fire slime, because he's all by himself. One day we will get some siblings for Calcifer. Today is not that day. Pardon me, Painted Hen Hen. Didn't mean to like send it spinning into space there. All right. And we'll visit Queen Rose Quartz, drop off some food there. The Sears have actually not had anything to eat in a long time. I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> so we'll give them all the carrots because uh, they really have not had anything to eat for a very long time. And Hunter, the Hunter plorts actually do sell for quite a bit. So I do want to grab some of the Hunter plorts. Uh, yeah, while well, we're over here, why not? Because they actually sell for quite a bit of money. So we'll snag some of those. And I think it'll be fun to set up an area where we do kind of experiment with some of the more dangerous things. Because normally we play it so ridiculously safe. And so it's kind of fun to think about just having the docks be dedicated to extremely dangerous experiments. Like putting together a whole bunch of the most volatile slimes to make Largos. All right, and here's some Q-berries for these guys. I always feel like I neglect the cave system, so it feels kind of nice to feed them for once. All right, and a few more hunter plorts. I'll be back for the others later. And some prickle pears for these guys, who I really just need to set free, to be honest. All right, I'll give them some more too. But I actually need to go pick up a dervish slimes plort in order to make the area that we're going to work with with our mosaic slimes. And don't worry, don't panic. I do plan on some safety measures for this grand experiment too. Oh no, Calcifer, are you still there? Oh, thank goodness, Calcifer. I'm so glad to see that you're still here. Gosh, he is just busy, busy, busy producing some of these, uh, some of these fire plorts. That's kind of fun. All right, come here. And for those of you who have been requesting it, no, you unfortunately cannot make fire Largos, just like you cannot make the Puddle Largos. So you can't combine the Fire Plort and the Puddle Plort with any other slimes. It does not work. But that would be really cool to imagine, at least. 
Maybe that's like a good slime science end 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 game sort of goal. Being able to make some super special slime areas. All right. Oh, and last time we ended up making a taming bell and I totally forgot to use it. So we might set that up next to the crystal seer because that would actually be very suiting for the crystal seer as kind of like a gift for them. So we'll set that up in a little bit. Let me put the flame plorts in here. And then the hunter plorts I will sell. Prickly pears I need to set up for the dervish slimes to enjoy. And we have a little dervish slime pit down in the uh, glass desert that we'll go visit in a second. All right, there's that. Mint mangoes. Feed some of these guys. I always feel bad because our science slimes tend to get a little neglected. So trying to feed trying to feed a few of them first. And then let's see, hunter plorts to sell, prickly pears. Let's go grab the dervish slimes. So we're gonna come in and we're gonna grab, not the actual slimes themselves, actually. Hello, my friend, are you hungry? Very nice. Thank you so much. Snagged it, all right. Oh, there's a whole bunch of prickle pears. Ah, oh, they're old. Where did all of your siblings go, huh? Did they turn into, did they turn into tars? I'm very sorry about that. The tangled dervish largo, AKA the dandelion. And let's jump up here, hmm. There used to be a whole bunch more so I could come over and get like a ton of dervish plorts, but apparently they have met in untimely end. <gasps> there we go. Hi, buddy. Here, eat. No, eat. Stop. There we go. We don't need your little tornadoes. I just need some dervish plorts, please. Thank you. And let's see if our... <gasps> oh, look at that. That's a shiny. That's a new shiny. Oh, goodness. Here, I'm going to get rid of these tingle plorts. Glass shards, a solid fragment of frozen fire. Fantastic, we will use that for some of our experimentations. <gasps> oh, the tragedy, I didn't, I wasn't able to save him in time. I totally keep forgetting that when we come because we're inside of the protection of the ancient ruins. Wow, that, that was like a, a hen hen who fled for her life and you can see what was chasing her because there's just a tangle plort behind her. Props to you, ma'am. Survival of the fittest right there. Oh my gosh. Hopefully she'll live to see another day and leave behind many smart chickadoos. All right, we've got some of the mosaic pink Largos down here. Also very useful and very interesting. Um, I'm trying to remember where I put the rest of my, my drills. We had a whole bunch of drills and we had a whole bunch of the pumps that I kind of sprinkled around the place and I'm having a hard time remembering where I put them. Did I only put one down last time? Maybe I only put one down last time? Because there weren't really like a ton of immediate spots nearby to be able to leave them, if I remember. Well, these spots are pretty good. All right, then I'm going to leave behind a master drill right here. And I'm going to leave behind a advanced apiary over here. And then let's find a place to put a master pump. So that's a couple, that's a couple master drills here. I must have been like putting things down and then found a new slime, like a new fire slime. And that's why I don't have, aha, uh -huh, right over here perhaps. Yeah, this will work. I'll just come over here so I can see it when I'm running around. All right, and we'll put down the master pump right there. There we go. All right, and then I'll be back. I'll be back to collect those uh, in the future. Wonderful. All right, a lot of tangle supports. Oh, that's right, I don't have any more room. All right, well, I don't really need these prickly pears for for anything in particular. So here, let's see how many we can stick onto this. There we go. A lot of them on the little cactus. And then we'll get home. All right, got plenty to sell. Maybe we can put a taming bell, bell down in some of the danger zones. I don't think I need anything from over here. No, I don't think I need anything from over here. I do need a quantum plort if I'm going to make that mosaic quantum slime the Largo. All right, let's come this way. Wait to get some energy back and then we'll make the jump. This is gonna be really exciting to actually work with some of the more dangerous slimes. Ah, but the safety measures that I talked about. Yes, my friends, I don't want you to fret. So let me show you what we are going to do to keep ourselves safe as we do this dastardly experiment. We are going to build ourselves. Dun, 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 
dun, dun, dun, dun, dun. The super hydro turret as soon as we can. And for now, we can at least put down some of the normal hydro turrets, or so I thought. I forgot we don't have any deep brine. We might have some in the queen's uh, treasury, so we'll have to go and investigate the queen's treasury. And we might have to start picking up all of the treasure I've just been leaving on the ground for lack of room to work with it. But let's put the glass shard. Let's see if I can get it from here. Nice. The glass shard is now in there. We have a mosaic slimes already waiting for us over in their spot. So over in the docks. Um, let's see. The ancient ruins are really the only other place I need to go. I'm going to go pick up some quantum slimes. I can't wait until we can get enough bits and pieces that we can just have a teleporter straight to the ancient ruins. That is going to be fantastic too. Also having more strange diamonds. So if we wanted to move the teleporters, we could. It would be so cool. All right. Oh, I remember when we first found this area and it was such a huge event to find this big spot and I mean it's still one of my favorite and one of the most beautiful locations that we can find in the world if you ask me. I would have a bazillion picnics here next to the light of the growing slime statues. All right so quantum slime plort. Don't need many just one or two will do. Hi buddy! All right, I need to figure out a way to feed you. So let's bring this little guy over. We'll snag this one too. Totally forgot I should have brought some food with me. And uh, let's see if we can find something to feed them. I don't think that these guys will actually eat the hen hens, much to the hen hens relief. Hmm. Maybe I'll take them home just really quickly and then release them again. A little bit of food somewhere nearby. <laughs> So pretty here. I'm getting distracted again. Wah! And then falling off of cliffs again. But yeah, I, the quantums will eat fruit. So let's see. I think all of the fruit has not grown over here. Unfortunately. I forgot about that. I should have brought some fruit. But we'll take a couple of these guys home. And that, that might be okay. Alright, let's see. I don't think there's any more. I don't think 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 there's any more teleporters in here that we could like ride to take home unfortunately so we'll go ahead and we will wiggle back to the entrance as soon as i have enough energy all right almost there and make the jump there we go i'm gonna have to be more careful because i totally forgot about needing to bring fruit to feed the quantum slimes to get their plorts i just keep assuming we're gonna run into wild uh wild fruit and wild vegetables but it's actually a lot harder than it sounds to be able to collect those so they're not a reliable way and a reliable resource to focus on when you're trying to get some of the wild slimes plorts for sure i guess that's the whole point of ranching <laughs> all right let's come this way Anything here? Nope, just tiny, tiny pogo fruit that's still growing. So we'll bring these two quantum slimes home, but we probably won't keep them because it is a little, well, you know what? You know what? Never mind. Instead of getting their plort, what am I doing? We'll just feed them the mosaic plort and turn them into a mosaic slime largo that way. All right, there we go. All right, so we've got the dervish. I have hunter plorts that I actually need to sell. I mean, maybe I want to make hunter. You know what? Let's make some hunter mosaic slimes instead. Some crystal cats. That sounds like it would be really exciting. All right. And we're going to come on down. Next step. <gasps> oh, all my gardens are empty. Oh, no. I did not plan on that. Oh, all of my silver parsnips are done. Oh man, I don't have any over here either. Oh well, it's okay because we can come over and we can actually make uh, more silver parsnips very easily because we can warp ourselves to the glass desert. All right, so enough rambling. Let's go ahead and demolish this plot. And I just realized we might not have enough money to actually, <laughs> to actually, we're gonna put it in the air net. Yay! And then we're gonna put in the quantum slimes. Yay! And then we're gonna grab some mosaic slime plorts. I'm sure this will end well. I'm sure I won't regret this. Oh boy. Oh me oh my. We're gonna go get some fruit and then make sure we feed these guys ASAP. But uh, you guys, let's make some uh, quantum mosaic largos. <gasps> oh my gosh. How cool is that? Okay, don't 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 go and phase out of existence over here, okay, buddy? 
Oh my gosh, that's so cool! Let's go grab some fruit! Like, immediately! We need fruit stat! Oh, this is awesome! And I should be able... Oh, I wonder if they'll stick around long enough to really get a lot of quantum... Oh, there's some vegetables. Alright. Alright, run for it, run for it. Wait, there's fruit right over here! Alright, good, and... There we go. So let's make sure they are well fed. And I'm gonna have to just make a pile, like, manually inside of their their little corral for now. I almost said exhibit. Siri the zookeeper brain. And then we'll run over and manually feed them for now. But we'll sell these mosaic slime or plorts and we'll sell the hunter plorts and we'll get ourselves a bit of new box. He's trying to teleport. He's trying to zip away. Come on, little buddy. Hey, hey, that's better. Oh my gosh. <laughs> All right, let's make sure these guys are well fed. These guys want vegetables. So stay here. Stay. Stay put. Stay put. I mean, if you're gonna teleport, teleporting yourself into like a, a bridge that you can't budge from is kind of nice, but then they'll probably just teleport away again. This is gonna be exciting. I'm actually happy that we have a safe spot that we can start using uh, as a very experimental, very exciting location for some of the more dangerous slimes. All right, also, where are you going, buddy? Come here, come here, my little friend. You need to go over here. There we are. All right, so that one's back and let's sell some of these plorts. My goodness, I just have all of these random plorts on, on me now. All right, sell the mosaics. I don't really wanna sell the mosaics just yet, but I totally forgot that we're gonna need to build all of those corrals. And if we're gonna want the corrals, we're gonna need the money. There we go. Dervish plorts are selling for so much. Oh, I can't decide. Do I want to make a hunter mosaic slime or do I want to make a rock mosaic slime? Oh, that's crystal, not rock. Oh, let's do a crystal mosaic. Oh my goodness, that'd be so cool. I want to do a crystal mosaic, but let's do the crystal mosaic inside the cave. So we'll still have the hunter in another section. Oh, that sounds awesome. All right, well, let's build one more spot for our mosaic slimes. And I think what we're going to do is we are going to make the mosaic dervish slime tonight. And we will research them when the day arrives. Ugh, I tripped over that flower patch. We will research them in the morning when we can get a little bit closer to really studying them. But for now, let's grab this mosaic slime. We'll grab two of them. And we will experiment with the mosaic dervish slimes. Also, where are you going? Eat! Eat and stay put! Eat and stay put, you silly ones! Oh, they need water! Water convinces them not to not to zip off again. I just remembered. Alright, so <laughs> I'm gonna have to be on top of this corral for sure. It's gonna be pretty exciting. Alright, and I definitely need to be able to get the resources for those hydro turrets. Oh my gosh. Alright, and we'll do plort collector, auto feeder, uh, let's see, air net to make sure they don't they don't zip out, and then the yeah, there we go. There we go. That should be good. Whew. All right, so that's a fully upgraded one. <laughs> Is there anything to keep your quantum slimes like stuck in one place? Let's do that and we'll do auto feeder. There we go. And maybe a music box so that they'll stay put. Whew. All right, this is gonna be exciting to say the least. <laughs> All right, two mosaic slimes. And dun 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 dun! Beautiful! It's some Saturns! They really do kind of look like Saturn to me. All right. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Oh no, they're already hungry. Why? Okay, we're gonna grab some of the fruits. You think eating a plort would keep them well fed, but apparently not. All right. So we're gonna have to feed this crew. And we're gonna have to stay on top of this, but I think that we're gonna start making some uh, some mega new bucks now. It's not gonna be an easy ride, but it's gonna be a wild, exciting one. And we're also needing to put down a couple more types of mosaic slimes, and then we'll really focus on feeding them and gathering up the new bucks and hopefully holding in on that crop of plorts long enough that we will be able to get the overgrowth area expansion, which would be so exciting to have a nice little overgrowth expansion for Honey Mint and all of his subjects. Whew, definitely keeping us on our toes. But all right, I'm going to go sell these plorts and then I will see you guys next time when we will start researching our little Saturns and we will start dashing around trying to figure out where we're going to put the last two of the mosaic largos we want to mess with for now. Hmm. And uh, exactly how we're going to try to expand the spot. I'm so excited. I just, I have daydreams. What is it going to look like? Oh, I can't wait. But all right, I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.